you've brought out two fantastic books which have been out sort of about 20 years now. Um, the Metaphor of Play, which we were just talking about earlier, and Intimacy and Alienation. Mm -hmm. um, certainly the, the Metaphor of Play, what is a synopsis of how this book has looked at trauma and the, um, the treatment of, say, personality disorders because of um, that trauma? Well, I think the, the important thing is that what is, what is damaged in people who have been traumatised, particularly people who have been traumatised day after day, you know, not a single trauma, it's a cumulative trauma, particularly relations, you know, like Alan Shaw would say, relational trauma. Mm -hmm. And what is damaged is w what we could call in a technical way a sense of self. It's effectively a stream of consciousness, you know, the ordinary mm -hmm. feeling of going on existing. People who've been badly traumatised don't have quite that experience, that they have an experience which is not feeling of everything being relatively unified and cohesive, mm. that things are broken up and then narrowed down. It's a narrowed world and kind of shattered. Mm. And mm. so how does one conceive of this idea of that shattering and how can we conceive of getting it better? Mm -hmm. And ordinary conventional psychotherapies have really concentrated on another domain. They've really focused on the traumatic memory itself and when it's re-triggered. Mm -hmm. Now that's very important to deal with and we deal with that as well. But what happens with this triggering is that it keeps on overthrowing any developing sense of this you know ordinary healthy positive feeling of going on existing yeah the primary thing is that you have to be able to get that going again and then to integrate those traumatic memories into this larger system yeah. so you're working first of all primarily on this self system which is not what conventional therapies are doing they're focusing more on doing something about the traumatic memory. Right, okay. So uh, coping mechanisms basically, that, um, would that be correct? Well, it's having a way of being in the interplay with the world which is conducive to coping mechanisms. Right. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, so there's yeah. a primary thing before the coping. And this experience of what we might call self, you know, the stream of consciousness, actually is not born within us. It's not it's not there, you know, like bones and things like that. Mm -hmm. The first forms of it are not evident until the child's about four. Mm -hmm. So before that time, there are things that are happening that are necessary mm -hmm. for this to happen. Mm -hmm.